Welcome to the official iNavX support video channel uh, by Jim Sales. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to use the free NOAA raster charts of U.S. waters for trip planning. Any other non-quilted raster chart that is available for use in iNavX will work in the same way. One of the great things about iNavX is that you can download NOAA raster charts of U.S. waters at no charge and use them for navigation. Raster charts have the appearance of traditional paper charts and have geo-referencing data embedded in them making it possible to use them in chart plotting apps like iNavX. The free NOAA raster charts of U.S. waters are just one of iNavX's options for using raster charts. Most raster charts download in iNavX as individual charts. Moving from one chart to another when sailing or planning a trip can be a challenge because charts do not scroll from one to the next automatically. They must be individually selected as you move from one chart to the next. To prepare to use raster charts in iNavX, I begin by verifying some chart settings in the iNavX app. Open the chart settings by tapping the gear icon in the upper right corner of the screen when you are viewing a chart. First, I verify that the position icon is set to none. This will allow me to move the chart around without iNavX recentering the chart on my current position. Next, I verify that Show Boundaries is toggled on. This will show the borders of the individual charts on the Charts View page. The boundaries appear as rectangular outlines that show where the other charts fit in. Zooming in and out using the pinch gesture will give you a closer view of the current chart, but it will not change you to a higher or lower resolution chart. Tapping with your finger on the chart inside one of the boundary rectangles causes a contextual menu to appear on the screen, which includes, among other things, a way to create a new waypoint. When using these charts to create a new route, I like to use a low resolution chart to create an approximate route and later refine the waypoints in the route on higher resolution charts. To create a new waypoint from this contextual menu, tap the green waypoint icon in the upper right corner of the window. To begin creating a roughed out route on this low resolution chart, I need to open the routes page and create a new route there as a container for the waypoints in the route that I am creating for use on my trip. Tap the routes item in the toolbar. Tap the plus item in the upper right hand corner to create a new route. Tap the Share Action item in the upper right hand corner to rename the route. Use the keyboard that appears at the bottom to remove the old name and enter the new name that you want. Tap Save in the upper right hand corner when you're done. Now let's verify some other chart settings that will help us in creating a route on the chart page. For show waypoints as, select both. For show waypoints, select route. For show route, select SEL, which stands for selected. Zoom in or out to get a, an overview of the entire trip. Tap the screen in approximately the place that you will want to put your first waypoint. Tap the waypoint icon to create the waypoint. Tap the newly created waypoint until the name label turns gray, then tap the name label to make a menu appear. 
tap the Add Waypoint to Root item to add this waypoint to your newly created route. Continue this process of creating new waypoints and adding the newly created waypoints to your route until you have all of your waypoints placed approximately on this low resolution chart. Once you have all your waypoints roughly placed, you can begin zooming in to higher resolution charts by tapping the screen and then tapping the chart name to open that chart. To adjust the position of a waypoint, tap the waypoint until the label turns gray and then drag it to the place where it needs to be on the chart. Lower resolution charts can be found by tapping the minus button near the upper right corner and selecting a chart from the list. You can find higher resolution charts by tapping the plus item on the left side and choosing them from the list. You may find that you don't have one of the higher resolution charts that you need. If that's true, tap the screen and select the chart that you need to be added and uh, download that new chart right now. Hey, if you found this helpful, why don't you click on the thumbs up to give me a like. And while you're at it, subscribe to your official iNavX support channel by Jim Sales.